All right, so chroma selections are so much more accurate than having Photoshop just go straight from your image as is, and we're gonna talk about that right now, okay? So Actions 12 has a series of ways to control the different chroma ranges, um, so you can manipulate them in different ways. Let, let's talk about it, let's go one by one. So if we come down here, um, to NBP Chroma Full Color Control, NBP Chroma Full Color Control Expand. We're gonna show those in a minute, but let me show you the rainbow below it, okay? NBP Chroma Red Select. And these are interesting because when you click it, it's gonna let you know, of course, that you have to be on a flattened version of the layer, of the image, you know, in some manner or the background. Now, when you click it and you're done, the selection is running. That's something that Photoshop does. The selection is running, you just can't see that it's running, but it is. So we can prove that by choosing some kind of adjustment layer, right? So let's go to, let's go to hue and saturation. Boom. Now it's selected. Hold down alt or option. We can look at our mask. Okay. This is a red mask that used the color range function in Photoshop to select reds. The difference is that it did not do it directly from just the image itself as is. It actually did it. Turn that off one second. It actually did it from the chroma. It extracts the chroma then extracts the color reds out of it, the red range, and then has your selection ready to go. Now, if we come back down here and choose chroma yellow, hit OK. So we come to, well, I guess we're going to select color. Didn't mean to, but here we are. Hold on option to look at the map. There it is. Now, when you start experimenting and start looking at what chroma masks look like versus um, the, a regular mask, you know, that you might create from a color range from your image as is, you might start noticing that they look a little more full, a little more complete. And that's because uh, Luma isn't being involved. In other words, the, the luminosity ranges isn't involved in the selections. Okay, that's what makes these selections a lot cleaner. You can probably imagine what the rest do, you know, greens, blue, cyan, magentas, etc. Okay, but let's talk about the MVP Chroma full color control and the, you know, the other version of it called expand. Okay, let's run that one. Hit OK, make sure you're on a flattened version or the background layer if you want. Okay, there we go. And there it is. We have everything spread out. Let's talk about what this is. Hold down Alt or Option. We can look at the mask on the folder called Reds. And you can see we have the Reds masked. Yellow, we have the yellows. Greens, which you can't really see very much of despite there being a lot of green objects in the image. It's a long story for another time. Cyans, of course, and blues, which kind of come together to make the blue sky. Okay. And magentas being minimal to none. That's pretty common. Okay. So we turn that off. Now we have color balance control of the reds, and we have a hue and saturation control of the reds. So if I came here and I wanna add more magentas to my reds, I can very, very subtly. See that? Turn the reds on and off. There's a little more magenta. That's a little bit strong, but I try to do it strong for the video. Yellows, I can come here and choose maybe more yellow into the yellows. Why not? There you go, look at that, more yellow into the yellows. On cyans, I might go to the saturation and add a little more saturation to the cyans. I might go to the blues and add some more saturation to the blues and look at the difference off and on. Very, very subtle. You probably can't see too, too much on the video, but it's just a way to control ranges. You may not need to use every single range. You might set this up so you can play around with a colorful image and see how you can manipulate the colors around, you know? Like the blue sky could shift to more purple or more cyan. And maybe your cyan sky can move the same direction as well. You never know what you can do with it, but you run this to extract colors. These actions like this have been around for a while, but this one pulls from Chroma, which is just a little more accurate, ignoring Luma to get you more of the actual color selections that you actually want. Now, in general, let's talk about the next one, Expand. Look at the look at the uh, mask once again. Okay, if we look at reds, yellows, oops, didn't mean to do that, undo that. If we look at the reds, okay, and then we look at the yellows, and we look at the greens and all that, they're usually pretty faded because these colors exists in only a certain amount, a certain percentage, right, of hue. So they're usually pretty tame. Now, the reason why I created Chroma Full Color Control Expand, we run that one, it takes these selections and then runs an auto contrast on them, making the selections as strong as possible, ranging from white to black. In other words, let's look at the mask again on reds. Now it's way stronger. It took the original mask it created and auto contrasted it to make it as, you know, wide of a range as possible, as well as yellows, as well as greens. Now greens is a lot more. It was used to be so faded, you couldn't tell. Cyans, of course, and blues, and then magentas. What you're seeing here are, are actually color artifacting is what you're seeing. There's not really magenta on these fringes. This is just the nature of the way the camera captures colors, which is common in magenta, which is why we have, you know, purple defringing and all of that in raw processing. So what does that mean? That means you can get more of a radical result. So if I go to reds now and boost saturation, it gets a lot stronger. If I were to reset that, if I shift the colors around, the results are a lot stronger because the mask is a lot more well, bright, a lot more intense. So we have more range. So now the greens that we originally didn't have, 
Now we can boost the saturation of the greens and you'll start actually seeing it. It's very subtle still, but off, on, off, on. So expand is just a variation of it to give you more leeway, more possibilities if you need to expand things radically. Very, very similar, but you know, hey, you never know when you want to modify colors in this kind of granular way. But the key here is not that you're using color range. It's not that you're, you know, finding other ways to select um, with the magic wand tool or any other type of ways. What you're doing is you're extracting chroma and then you're extracting color from the chroma. And by ignoring Luma, you get a lot more accurate selections.